Welcome back to the series where I tackle some of the world's most controversial fish. Today, we'll be taking a look at what I deem to be the U.S.'s most underrated game fish, the bowfin. You guys voted for it, so here it is. Now, bowfin get a lot of bad slack, and I really don't think that's deserved. From them being misidentified as a completely different species to them being viewed as a trash fish, the bowfin get a bad rap from a lot of different people. So today, we'll be talking all about the bowfin, from their characteristics, why they are hated, and my thoughts of them. So, let's just jump right into it. Bofin are the last surviving member of the Amity family, which is a fish family that has dated back to the Jurassic period. Because of this, Bofin are considered a living fossil due to the fact that they have barely changed since the time of the dinosaurs. These fish have an assortment of names, including the mudfish, dogfish, grindel, swamp trout, and many more. As you can probably imagine, with a name like the swamp trout, they live in swamps. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. They seemingly prefer to have shallower waterways with plenty of underwater vegetation. Besides swamps, they have also been known to reside in drainage bases, lakes, rivers, backwater ponds, and many more habitats. Something interesting to note about the bowfin is their ability to live in oxygen low waters. Unlike most fish that take oxygen from the water, bowfin also have the ability to take gulps of air, similar to a beta fish. Now bowfin are a predatory fish by nature, being primarily ambush predators. They heavily feed on other fish, such as bluegills, shad, and bullhead. However, they will not pass up much that gets in front of their face, commonly eating crayfish, aquatic insects, and whatever else they can find. They mainly rely on their incredible sense of smell rather than vision. Bofin in general are a rather long-lived species with members in the wild living around 33 years. However, interestingly, members in captivity have a slightly shorter lifespan being around 30 years. Bofin have two big things that make people not actively enjoy them as much as they should be. The first reason being that people often misidentify them as the highly invasive northern snakehead. For those that don't know, this fish has overtaken many, many waterways here in the US from Florida to New York and plenty of more states. Now looking at footage of the snakehead, you can probably see how someone could mistake these two species. For one, they both have very similar body structures. They both have that elongated top fin that stretches to their tails. Their bodies also both have more of a slender and sleek orientation compared to something like a bass. So I could understand how people can mistake these species for snakehead. But unfortunately, this misidentification leads to bowfin being killed, thinking that they are an invasive species. The easiest way to tell if a bowfin is a bowfin and not a snakehead is by looking at their anal fin. Anal fin. Yes, I know, haha, <laughs> funny name. But if you look at the bowfin, it has a very short fin here. If you look at the snake head, it's much more extended, similar to their top fin. Besides being mistakenly identified as an invasive fish, bowfin are also shunned by some for having terrible meat. See, bowfin are known for having a very strange meat compared to other fish. Instead of being flaky or hard like other fish meat, Many claim that bofin have incredibly mushy meat. It's said that you have about 30 minutes after catching a bofin to properly cook it and eat it before it becomes a mushy mess. Now I can't say for certain, but people claim that it turns into a jelly-like substance. Which, if jelly fish meat doesn't sound pretty gross to you, you may need to seek some help. So yeah, needless to say, a lot of people don't eat this fish. 
Although something really interesting is that many Native American tribes actively sought out these fish to eat. They viewed this fish as a delicacy. So clearly not everybody hates how they taste. The last thing I'll say is that some people just hate these fish because they're predatory and compete with other predatory fish, which is just get a life. These fish have been here longer than us, man. So as I said earlier, I think this is for sure the US's most underrated game fish. Really, their problems choke up to either being misidentified with an invasive fish, not tasting good, and bad fishermen. And really, most of it isn't their fault. They can't help that they look like another species of fish. And speaking of their looks, they really do look really cool and prehistoric. With them being a bony fish, they really stand out compared to other predatory fish in the area, like pike and bass, which I really like. Now I will come out and say that I have never caught this species before. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Here in New York, they do exist, but they aren't a very common sight. In fact, I've never even seen one. Despite this, they are probably number one on my list for species that I want to catch. So one day I will be getting one of these amazing fish. Despite me not actually ever catching one, I've heard that they are a really solid fighting fish. If you've caught one, I'd love to hear your experience down in the comments below. But it's just not something I hear a lot about. People really don't fish in a lot of the areas that they are active in and generally people don't target them that much, which is why I think they're really underrated. In terms of what lures they'll go after, they are not picky. Crankbaits, jerkbaits, topwater, it's all fair game. They'll even go after crayfish mimics and other soft plastics. These guys will even eat dead fish and cut up baits that they find in catfish rigs. So there's no shy way of targeting one. At the end of the day, they fill a unique niche in our waterways and have been here an extremely long time, much longer than us. And whether you think they are a trash fish or an underrated one, they have a place in the world of fishing. So what do you think of the bowfin? Do you think they deserve being disliked or do you think that they're underrated? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.